A very good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new Daily Market Outlook. So starting off with the dollar index. So the dollar index pulled back and pushed up higher, as we can very clearly see, in towards this daily area of supply, uh, which pretty much is the area of supply which broke, again, this daily fractal low positioned over here. So we can clearly see price pushes down in towards this demand, then pushes back up in towards this supply. So what I'm now waiting for is to see, okay, can this short-term bullish price action sustain itself and can we see that further upside continuation um, back up in towards the highs so what i'm now waiting for is a potential break of this daily fractal high because once that daily fractal high goes and this is again the daily fractal high which broke this daily fractal low that then means that the fractal structure becomes bullish pull back in towards itself for the buy and then that we would expect further upside uh, yeah, to commence over here from a daily perspective and that the daily overall pullback in towards the downside because again guys we are still bullish right on the daily swing structure pull back in towards the 50 percent mark in towards discount in towards daily demand um, is then ready to complete itself and the tail sign and i've explained this before um, that further upside is ready to commence is based on this fractal structure and that is how we time our possible entries um, in towards yeah, getting back in towards the upside once again. Now moving over in towards the four hour time frame because that is of course what we're mainly focusing on. We can then again see, okay, the four hour is still bearish, but um, this area of supply over here, so this buy before the sell, this range which we have positioned over here, and let me just draw that out. This is the area of supply that is currently holding and suppressing price. As we can very clearly see, we saw that further up continuation. I pointed out this area of supply yesterday. We can clearly see we wicked in and we wicked back down. Uh, but then, of course, the bullish price action of the dollar index sustained. So now what I'm waiting to look for is for, okay, can this area of demand over here hold? Can price start pushing from there? Because the current fractal low, I've marked it out, is this black line. And this is the fractal high. So ultimately, you would expect price to continue upwards. But of course, the overall swing structure is far stronger. Um, when we look at structure, especially on the four hour time frame, what you want to look for is, of course, um, when you looking for, let's say, further down continuation is a change in that fractal structure again. If this low goes, then we have that bearish fractal structure change. And then ultimately, you expect for the downside. But we still have this fresh area of demand. So if we tap in towards there and then, for example, see a fractal structure change, then again, I'm gonna be looking for those longs. It could also form, let's say, in a way like this, where this is your fractal high, because this is then the fractal high that breaks this fractal low over here. So let's keep our eyes open um, yeah, for that and see what will happen for the rest of today. Those are kind of the things that I'm looking for, potentially this demand or this demand to play out, or if we break the low, we could also just see further downside continuation from the dollar index. And then if we go in towards the daily time frame, you'll be looking at, for example, this wick over here at around 100 to 500. Now, moving on in towards the pairs themselves, euro dollar, first of all, what we can see from euro dollar is that we, of course, um, you know, we're tanking in towards the downside. Uh, mainly from a daily time frame perspective, we can clearly see that the pullback in towards highs is potentially over. Of course, we took out liquidity above this high. 618 Fib retracement, which I showed yesterday, has also been provided. Now, looking at the four hour time frame, the four hour pushed all the way down in towards this area of four hour demand. We can very clearly see that the overall order flow was sustained because once this fractal low went, this became your supply created a low, pulled back in towards supply and sought further down to the continuation in towards four hour demand. And remember, four hour swing is still bullish. So what happens, you push in towards extreme demand, four hour swing is still bullish. Now what do you have? You have a break of the fractal high, which is positioned. Um, let me see, so we break this high, we break this low. So ultimately the fractal high that is now broken is this fractal high over here. So now what you're looking for is still longs until we reach this area of supply. That is for myself at least the valid um, opportunity now. So you can look for longs, of course, because overall the four hour is still bullish. Um, and we trade mainly based on the four hour time frame. The four hour fractal structure is also bullish. So look for longs until we reach the supply zone. Then let's keep our eyes out for what's gonna be happening to the dollar index and how we reach this area of four hour supply. Because once we reach that, then I'll be looking for a potential short scan because let's say we see something like this where this becomes your fractal high and this becomes your fractal low, then wait for that structure shift. And then I have the confirmation, okay, I'm ready to sell off in towards the downside. So the only reason why I would be happy to sell from here 
is the fact, and despite the four hour being bullish, is the fact that we have that daily area of liquidity, we have that daily 618, we have a swing bearish daily, and we have this beautiful ascending wedge. So that's euro dollar what i'm looking for for short term for the upside and then once we reach here look for those potential shorts doesn't need to happen you can still hold your longs let's say you long from somewhere in here um, but yeah just keep in mind that the four hour swing is still bullish so we could still just move up higher in towards these levels over here moving on in towards aussie dollar aussie dollar very rangy um, overall tapped in towards this demand zone again not very beautiful pair at the moment not something that i'm really actively looking at I am kind of seeing a potential one, two, and then a third touch over here. And then again, also over here, you have kind of like this one, two, three, and then again, kind of like a, a wedge forming um, over here, which we're starting to break out of. So I'll be keeping my eyes open. But again, the fractal structure changes are everywhere because of that rangy price action. So what I'll just be waiting for is a further push in towards the downside. And then I'll look for those potential shorts. If we get that, of course, we could still move just up higher and kind of form this new wedge over here. Then, for example, we take out these highs. Then let's say that fractal low will be somewhere over here. Then I'll just wait for that short over there to occur because we're still above the four hour BOS. So we still expect a deeper pullback in towards the downside ultimately. So that's Aussie dollar moving on into towards pound dollar. So pound dollar, um, very clear. Uh, we're now tapped in towards the supply zone and pound dollar again is a little bit more beautiful than the other ones, guys, because what we can very clearly see is that we saw that fractal breaking structure pull back in towards this buy before the sell, which took out this fractal low. So yeah, you could take some valid shorts from there to trade it back down in towards your four hour demand zone. So yeah, for me, still looking for GOP USD shorts in towards the downside. Um, moving up in towards the daily, yeah, not much. A nice bearish daily candle close, but again, uh, yeah, still we have that bullish uh, daily order flow, so we can very clearly see sell for the buy, and then again sell for the buy, which we're currently stuck in. So now what we want to see is, of course, that daily fractal low go. Then there's a far higher probability uh, for looking for shorts upon a pullback over here. That is when those higher probability shorts will come, because at the same time, once we break that daily fractal low, you also have a four hour swing structure change. So it's a very calm week. Um, if you wanna take those higher probability setups, I would say wait till next week, um, because then we'll have far more clarity. But of course, everybody likes trading, so you can still take these setups um, like a sell from here, but then again, wait for that lower time frame confirmation. So NZD USD next, uh, moving in towards that pair. So yeah, NZD USD uh, looking not as good as the other ones in the sense for shorts, uh, but for longs, it's looking good because overall this is your fractal high, which is broken, meaning this is now your fractal low over here. This means that this over here is your demand zone. And we've pulled back exactly in towards the 50% mark. So overall, you can still look for those potential longs because the four hour swing is still bullish. The daily pretty much, of course, took out this uh, swing high over here. We haven't closed above it yet, so the daily is not yet bullish. But ultimately, when you take out these highs so much um, and we have kind of like these clear liquidity highs over here on the daily, there is still a probability that we're going to be taking out the highs. So keep that in mind um, for the rest. Yeah, of course, you want to be trading with the four hour. The four hour has made a nice pullback. The four hour is still bullish. So despite kind of like forming this wedge, like structure is king. So we are still ultimately looking for longs if the confluences are there. So now if we pull back in towards this four hour area of demand, um, you can then look for those longs. So then go in towards the 15 minute time frame, And then from a 15 minute perspective, either you'll be looking at say this range over here, or of course, if we move further down, uh, you'll potentially be looking at, let's say this over here, somewhere in here, you'll be looking for those potential longs. But again, don't just randomly start buying, wait for, for example, now a bullish shift in market structure to come, wait for a push in here, then let's say a push out, break with the fractal high, pull back in towards demand and then look for those longs because those are the high probability setups. And then you start buying in towards, let's say this fresh area of supply over here on the 15 minutes. And then you can, for example, look for shorts once again, if you get that four hour uh, fractal structure change after tapping in towards that area of supply. Now, last of all, gold. So gold, uh, we can clearly, clearly see uh, exactly as we pretty much anticipated yesterday, pushing towards this up for the buy and then a perfect entry came. So still expecting for the upside from gold, of course, um, people could be looking for shorts based upon a daily time frame. but no, the daily time frame has now taken out supply, excuse me. So this buy before the sell has been taken out. Uh, fractal structure change as well after a break of this high, meaning this is now your fractal low. And this fresh 
yeah, sell before the buy um, is still something that we have. So we could potentially still push down lower. Um, but just to point out the setup that we had yesterday, or did we already tap in? Yeah, we already tapped in. Or this is part of the, oh no, that's part of the daily candle. That's why the daily demand is still fresh. But of course, based on the four hour, you already tapped in. But we could still, for example, pull back in towards the doji candle over here. Then longs would still be valid um, upon, let's say, a fractal structure change. You get something like this. And then you look for those longs. But yesterday, just to point it out, we did get an interesting setup over here on gold. Because if we go over in towards a 15 minute time frame and we know that we're in four hour demand, you then want to be looking for longs. So what did we get? We got this beautiful, beautiful one, two, three, pretty much this descending wedge formation. You started to break out of there. So once you get this descending wedge formation, what do I know? I know this is my fractal high over here. So once that fractal high goes, I am then ready to look for those potential longs. So what is the area of demand which took out this fractal high? It's pretty much this demand zone over here, but still, not very clean setups so, so at Asian session 2.30. So then what do we do? We wait for the London session pretty much to open, which was this morning. Um, or you wait for, let's say, late into the Asian session. Then you have this very clean area of demand positioned over here. And that is then, for example, when you would like to go along with your order there, stop loss below the low and targeting the highs over here for one to three, um, which would have then hit TP. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful setup um, that you could have taken. This was your fractal high gets broken by this fractal low. Very clear setup pullback. This is pretty much your 618 fib as well, um, which you had positioned over here. So these are the kind of setups that you would want to take. So yeah, that is gold pretty much explained uh, with that potential setup of this morning. So wish you all a fantastic day, guys. And if you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord description link in bio. Thanks, guys.